found so much in his phone and it just that just turned me the fuck off like he just didn't care because you wouldn't put your fucking woman through that shit you wouldn't jeopardize your relationship with somebody you want to be with like that <laughs> And welcome back to another mother freaking video and to y'all it is so freaking beautiful outside i'm about to take my baby outside later on today and we're gonna go to the park she's gonna like ride her bike because at that park it's a little track um where people run so i'm gonna take her there just to ride her bike because it's so beautiful y'all like it's literally blue sky the sun is out you have a little breeze but the weather is so freaking nice y'all so she's in a tub right now Later on today, we're just gonna go to the park and just enjoy the freaking weather. And after, we're gonna go get some ice cream. Like, I just love spending quality time with my baby. Enough of that, I know what y'all came here for. And you know, I must be just tell you guys, like, you know, what the fuck I found in this nigga phone. Um, I'm just, I'm baffled, okay? Like, a bitch is fucking baffled. My arm hurts, so I might prompt this shit up because my arm hurt from holding this camera. So I'm gonna prompt this camera up and I'm just gonna tell y'all tell y'all what I found in my ex's boyfriend's um, phone. Okay, this is juicy, this is some juicy shit. I'm not talking about Tim, I'm talking about the dude that I was with before Tay. What I found in his phone, okay? So, hold on a second. So yeah, I'm about to basically tell you guys, you know, what I found in my ex-boyfriend phone when we worked together so last video i talked about the first time that i basically gave him you know some sloppy toppy so basically and i told you guys that that in the uh, last month it was a wrap and it was a wrap because of what i found in the nigga phone so i'm basically gonna tell you guys what i found in there like y'all look i found so much shit in that nigga phone like that shit was really fucking ridiculous. Like, he been doing shit. It was crazy because I found out that he been doing shit since the fourth month we've been, you know, talking to each other. He been talking to other bitches. He been linking with other bitches. So, and I found all that out in one night. One night, I found all that out. And it was nothing that he could say to me. He was trying to explain himself. He was crying. And I'm just like, you know... It ain't nothing you could tell me that I don't see right in my fucking face. Like, he was literally telling bitches he loved him. He was literally, you know, just all kinds of shit. You know, sending pictures of his shit. Like, look, y'all, it was too much. Like, and it came to the point to where it was like, even if he was saying shit, I was looking to it like, you really gonna try to justify what the fuck I see right now? Like, it was just crazy, y'all. But I found so much in his phone. And it just, that just turned me the fuck off. Like, literally, some females get niggas chance after what they found out. But sometimes, it'd be too much. It'd be too much. So, I was so hurt. Like, because when I, when I like, dedicate my time and all that shit to one person, that's what I do. And basically what I seen in, in his phone is like, damn, I got betrayed, I got laid down. I like a fool, cause some of these hoes knew that he was with me, you know? So it was like, I was embarrassed. Like bitches was literally laughing at me. You know what I'm saying? Like no nigga should make his girl feel like that. No, no nigga should make bitches be able to laugh at his girl. Like that shit right there. Yes, dude. She said, come in for a second. Hold on. I just felt betrayed, y'all. Like, I really did. Like, and it's crazy. And, and I, that's why I didn't want to. When, when when Tay came along, he wanted to get in a relationship with me. Like, he was calling me his girlfriend and shit like that. And I always said, like, you know, I'm not ready yet. I was, get, I was friends on the hand. I just wasn't ready. You feel me? Like, I wasn't ready. So, me and Tay was friends for, like, a month or two, I believe. And then we made it official. But that's a different story for another day. So, um, yeah, he was pleading, crying, doing all this shit. Like, 
But in reality, I feel like a nigga really just didn't give a fuck. You feel me? He just didn't care. Because you wouldn't put your fucking woman through that shit. You wouldn't jeopardize your relationship with somebody you want to be with like that. So I had to cut ties with dude. I did regret him taking my virginity. I regret giving that nigga sloppy toppy. You feel me? But you live and you learn. You know what I'm saying? Um, that hurt made me stronger. And, you know what I'm saying? But that shit right there was... That hurt me, y'all. Like... Don't check a nigga phone if you ain't trying to get like if you if you try if you ain't trying to eat for a few days maybe a week if you ain't trying to keep your peace of mind and shit like that look don't check a nigga phone because it'll it it hurt you okay it 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 make you go days without eating <laughs> it make it it it'll make you cry okay like don't do it same for niggas like you just these females in this generation is. It's the new niggas. I'm gonna let you know that. The females in this generation are the new niggas. And I'm gonna say it. Because now it's like the tables are fucking turning. <laughs> Bitches are on some savage shit now, okay? You okay? Bitches are on some savage shit in this generation, okay? So, like, <laughs> don't. The, I feel like motherfuckers shouldn't check no phones. Like, that's a motherfucker's privacy. And whatever happens in the door gonna come to light anyways. So, it's best to not search for the shit. Y'all know, because it's going to come to light anyways. Like, So, I get it what it is. It's a few times where I check tape on, too. Like, I just feel like I I want to know. It's like, I, I want to know. It's like, I want to know, though. You know? So, it's like I put myself through that shit by checking the nigga phone. Like, yeah. <laughs> and I remember to this day, like, every fucking thing. Like, it was... I, I literally checked every fucking thing. Like, in that one night, I literally checked every motherfucking thing. I checked his social media. I checked his motherfucking emails. I checked his motherfucking call log and FaceTime call log. Pictures, his videos. I checked the deleted pictures and the deleted videos. What else? I checked the message thread. I even put in certain words in the search thing to have shit come up. I was checking everything, y'all. I was checking the contact list to make sure the names added up. Like, so I was literally checking every motherfucker thing and, and that one night i seen I, I seen so much shit yeah like i was i literally was on psycho mode like i was checking so much shit and every time i caught some shit my heart was beating so fast because it's like what the why was you doing this shit like well and half of the bitches wasn't even as cold as me like not trying to you know but i'm saying like they wouldn't even have did half of the shit that i did within those seven months like i was really doing some shit you know what i'm saying like but in the end, it worked out because I got with Tay. We came up on YouTube. I got my baby girl, you know, so I got put in a position where I am now and I'm very grateful, blessed. So it is what it is. Like I said, that what happened, I'm, I'm thankful for it because I won't be where I'm at today. I won't have the fan base, the support system that I have now, which is you guys. So. Because like I told y'all, I never knew about no YouTube shit. Tay introduced me to YouTube. So if none of that shit would have happened, I wouldn't have got with Tay. Y'all get what I'm saying? So none of this shit, you know, will be possible. Tay came through. God came through. Y'all came through. Everything just worked out perfectly. So that's why I say, like, shit happens for a reason. You know, I was hurt, but I eventually moved on. And now, look, I'm living better, feeling better, doing good, like, it is what it is, baby. Period. But y'all stuff in the comments the time y'all went through a nigga phone. Dudes, y'all stuff in the comments the time y'all went through a girl phone. And y'all tell me how that ended. We're going to chat it up in the comments, all right? Like, but with that being said, y'all, y'all said y'all liked the story times in the last video when I told y'all about my first time doing sloppy toppy. And y'all was in my DM basically telling me, like, um, a do a story time on something. You said, uh, I, I believe that. It wasn't spam, but y'all had different uh, things. But the one that stood out was basically the one where the girl um, DM me saying, tell a story time on when you went through a dude's phone. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, I got the perfect story time for that. I got the perfect one. I didn't want to do the one with Tay um, because that wasn't really nothing for real. So I had to do something more juicy. And it was my ex because that was juicy. So yeah, y'all. With that being said, I love you guys. 
don't forget to spam in the comments or you can DM me on Instagram with other story times y'all want. I didn't know y'all really like these story times, but apparently y'all do. So with that being said, just to tell you guys, and I'll see y'all in the next freaking video. Ooh, ooh.